Welcome to Brayon Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a square and inside the square is a quarter circle and a green semicircle. And from the point of intersection of the green semicircle and the blue uh, quarter circle inside the square, a line is drawn from that point to uh, the, the side of the square which is perpendicular to the side of the square. And the square's uh, dimension or side is 8 units and we are required to find the length of the red segment. Okay, so notice that uh, the given figure or uh, inside the square are circles. So uh, being circles, uh, we can actually write uh, the equations about the circles uh, but we need to make first a reference point and uh, we make a reference point by drawing a line from the center of the uh, semicircle upwards and this line will be our uh, y-axis because we are going to solve this by uh, somewhat like coordinate geometry and it this will be our center uh, let us let us this uh, center of this uh, uh, center of the same circle be zero zero and we let this point the intersection of the blue uh, quarter circle and the semicircle be uh, x y and next is we write the uh, equations of the uh, semicircle and the quarter circle uh, by of course equation of a circle okay so since we are using coordinate geometry and the circles are involved then uh, we make first a review of the equations of a circle so uh, the equation of a circle for a for a center of point hk uh, if the center is hk hk and therefore the equation will be x minus h square plus y minus k uh, square is equal to r square wherein k is the y coordinate of the center and h is the width x coordinate of the center of the circle okay okay so if we write an equation about the circle and if we focus on the green semicircle so the center is uh, zero zero so so zero zero and uh, we just need to put this uh, in the equation so we have uh, x minus zero square plus y minus zero square is equal to r square so but r is actually since uh, the diameter of this uh, uh, diameter of this semicircle is the side of the square then uh, the radius is 4 so this point will be uh, 0 uh, 4 0 and the center of course we have set it earlier as 0 0 and if this point is 4 0 then the radius is 4 so we just write here 4 square so if we simplify this, this becomes x square plus y square is equal to 16. And this will be our equation number 1. So equation 1. Okay, so next is we write an equation of the circle for uh, this uh, blue quarter circle. So we can find the center by 
uh, this so this is actually since from this point uh, on the uh, lower uh, right corner is four zero and the the distance or the height or the side of the square is eight so we need to add eight from this one to this y coordinate which is uh four zero so the x co component or coordinate remains to be four and the y coordinate since uh, we are moving upwards uh, 80 units from this uh, horizontal uh, this abscissa this horizontal line on the bottom of the square so this becomes for eight so the center of the uh, quarter circle is at four eight and with that the cent center being four eight so the equation will be uh, the equation is x minus the h which is four and square plus uh, y minus eight square is equal to the radius square and that is eight square and uh, if we simplify we have x square minus eight x plus sixteen plus y square minus uh, eight times two is sixteen y plus eight square is equal to eight square and we can cancel this eight square and we have here x square plus y square and we have here a negative 8x and negative 16y and plus 16 is equal to 0. Okay, so notice that the first equation that we got earlier uh, x square is x square plus y square is equal to 16. So we can actually replace this x square plus y square as 16 and minus 8x minus 16y plus 16 is equal to 0. And therefore we have here, we can actually put this uh, 8x, this negative 8x and negative 16y to the right hand side so we have uh, 8x plus 16y is equal to 32 and we can actually uh, multiply this by uh, 1 over 8 so we have 32 divided by 8 is 4 is equal to x plus 2y so uh, we can say that uh, x plus 2y is equal to 4. Okay, so since we know that x plus 2y is equal to 4, so x plus 2y is equal to 4. And we can also say that uh, x is equal to 4 minus 2y. And we can substitute this to the uh, first equation. So, uh, writing the first equation, x squared plus y squared is equal to 16. And x is equal to uh, 4 minus 2y. And if we square this, because it is squared, x is squared, so plus, copy this y squared is equal to 16. And we square this binomial, we have 16 minus 4 times 2 is 8 times 2. So 16 y plus 4 y square plus y square is equal to 16. And we can cancel this 16. And we simplify things. So we have 5 y square minus 16y is equal to 0. Okay, so next is uh, since we have arrived at a 
uh, quadratic equation so we can actually factor out y so we have y times uh, 5 y minus 16 we just take out the y by distributive property so it's equal to zero and therefore we have actually two solutions so uh, y is equal to zero and 5y minus 16 is equal to zero and therefore one solution is y is equal to zero and the other is y uh, 5y is equal to 16 if we put the 16 to the right hand side and divide both sides by 5 therefore we have y is equal to 16 over 5 and for this uh, y is equal to 0 uh, that is 0 already okay so recalling again since we have already uh, found the y values two sets of y values and recalling that x is equal to 4 minus 2y based on this this equation so uh, x for the first instance y is 0 so x is equal to 4 minus 2 times 0 so x is 4 and for the second instance x is equal to 4 minus 2y and x is equal to 4 minus 2 times 16 over 5 for the second value of y so we have uh, x is equal to 4 minus 32 over 5 okay so simplifying we have to find the lcd and the lcd is 5 so 5 divided by 1 is 5 times 4 this gives us 20 and minus we just copy 32 and therefore x is equal to negative of 12 over 5 okay so what does the values that we got mean so the values that we got are actually the points of intersection of the uh, semicircle and the quarter circle so in this case we can actually plot this uh, this uh, first uh, is x uh, 4 0 this is 4 0 and the other is uh, x is negative 12 over 5 and 16 over 5 so as you can see 4 0 is actually here it is actually an intersection of the quarter circle and the semicircle and the other intersection is this this one so this means that uh, x here is negative uh, 12 over 5 so let's just erase this and put there negative 12 over 5 and the y coordinate is 16 over 5 okay so we actually found two solutions uh, because we have solved the, uh, equ the these two equations and found uh, that they have two that they have two intersections the semicircle and the quarter circle so that is for the first point four zero and the other is negative uh, twelve over five and sixteen over five for the y coordinate for the second point and since we are only interested in getting the length of the red segment. So uh, this means that this uh, distance from the center of this, uh, this I mean from this line, so it is uh, negative 12 uh, from the uh, vertical line, so negative 12. So we can say that this, this, I'm, uh, let's say this is negative 12 or 5. If this is a number line so we only consider 
the x coordinate and for this uh, other point it is actually uh, from this line this broken line to the line this is actually half of the side of the square so the distance is actually four okay so to find the uh, distance the horizontal distance so since this is actually for this point this point is for we are only concentrating on the x core x coordinate and this is negative 10 over 5 so we just simply uh, subtract uh, negative 12 over 5 from 4 so the distance of the red segment so let's call this is rs rs red segment rs is equal to 4 minus the negative of 12 over 5 and we just simply uh, since it's negative times negative that will be plus so 12 over 5 plus 4 rs so rs is equal to the lcd is 5 divided by 1 is 5 times 4 so we have 20 so plus we just copy this 12 and we have the red segment to be equal to 32 over 5 units and that is our answer so thank you for watching until the end of the video please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.